This is the HBCU Update. I'm Ricky King. The Spartans finish off their spring drills today at Dick Price Stadium. The defending MEAC champs are getting used to a new offensive coordinator. Some questions at QB as well. Will it be Nico Flores who backed up Chris Wally last year or former wide receiver Reggie Garrett? Coach Pete Adrian knows that the target will be firmly on their back next season. Well, it, it's been great, you know. Uh, it was a great year last year, the first championship in 27 years, first one, Division One. A lot of exciting things like that. But the thing I've been concentrating on during spring practice, I've made it very clear that right now we're zero and zero like everybody else in the country. And that's one thing about athletics is so great. What you did last year was last year. You have to try to do it again the next year. And, uh, you know, again, we're going to have to find out who our number one quarterback is going to be. Nico Flores has had a good spring. And, he's, and he'll go into camp as our number one quarterback. We have a couple other guys coming in, so that'll be interesting to see how, how that works out. Uh, other than that, I think we're in pretty good shape. I mean, we got most of our offense back from last year. We have a lot of people from defense returning, so we feel very good about that. Spartan defense will try to pick up where they left off last year, ranked in the top five in the nation. Linebacker Terrence Pugh likes what he sees on the field. Yeah, we definitely want to carry over this year. We feel as though we had a big rotation last year, so we had a lot of guys that know how we, uh, we run the defense. So we definitely want to bring that same mentality as last year. Good. We have a lot of speed on defense. You know, we, we got a couple. Uh, we got veteran returners coming back. We play 18, 19 kids all the time on defense. So we lost. We lost nine guys last year who played for us, but then we have 10 coming back that, that uh, you know played a, a lot also. And, quite a few starters right there. We play a big rotation in our defensive line where we play six or seven guys deep. Uh, same thing in our linebacking core. We have almost our whole secondary back intact. So we'll be, we should be very formidable on defense. The Virginia Union Panthers lost three of their last four games last year and finished the season at 500. This spring, the Panthers showed improvement on both sides of the ball. I feel like we've gotten closer to being a polished group. We had some transfers come in at mid-year, and uh, spring ball has really helped them to learn our scheme. So now we have those guys pretty much, they don't have to wait till you know, summer camp to come in and try to learn our scheme in two weeks. Pretty intense, you know, a lot of banging out here going on. We've been going pretty hard. You know, this is probably the most intense spring ball I've been a part of since I've been here. News out of ECSU, former Great Bridge quarterback Casey Turner has landed on campus. He played in the Vikings spring game and put up some impressive numbers in the scrimmage. Turner transferred to ECSU and will be ready for action this fall. The Vikings are expecting another transfer. Wide receiver and former Great Bridge teammate Logan Hasty will be with the Vikings. He was released from his scholarship at West Virginia. I'm Ricky King. This is the HBCU Update.